What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have something quite different from the normal uh, the normal topics that you would find on this channel. It's still within lifestyle and things that I have kind of danced around on the vlog but I've never done a full video like this so please bear with me. I'm asking for absolute support and patience for the people that are actually interested in this video and hopefully it opens me up to another just like audience or, or interest in general just because as a person who's like suffered with their skin and like gone through a lot with their skin it's been one of like the things that is an insecurity of mine and obviously i'm sure it's an insecurity for a lot of other people going through this journey and getting my skin to a better state has always been like a dream of mine so even right now i was waiting for it to be like the perfect time for me to show how my skin is but i don't even feel like that's realistic so i'm showing you guys my skin after it's recovered from like a breakout which is like kind of perfect it's like not 100 percent there it's probably like maybe 70 80 which is i'm kind of happy because i'm about to be traveling i'm going to paris so um i'm just Kind of happy that it's presentable somewhat but at the same time it's not fake like it's still very real it'll still have some blemishes and things that i'm going through but anyway so basically today it's going to be a get ready with me super raw and uncut i'm just going to be showing you guys uh some of the steps that i do to get ready and like my routine this is like prep before fashion week and then also prep for before going out for the weekend it's mural festival uh we have little tyler uh asap ferg and stuff like that today so i'm just gonna get all all dolled up you know look posh for the events that are before me uh and yeah i'm gonna show you guys my little breakdown so i guess first normally i would do is grooming so the first grooming stuff i normally do um i have facial hair so i have like a mustache so i'll show you guys normally my mustache was pretty like untreated for a very long time. I remember it's before basically 15. So I'll zoom in all the way. Basically my mustache, I used to keep it pretty like un unruly. Like I never used to really touch it up. But now all I really do is get a very classic, like this is not sponsored at all. You could get these literally at Walmart, but a wall trimmer. And then I changed the head to this little tiny one. And I literally just, I'll just like hit it with this. like. Yeah, and just like line it up at the bottom so that it looks kind of good like that. I did this the other day though, so I don't really have a real reason to do so. Excuse the sweat beating off of my forehead. It's super hot in here because of the light, but I'm making it pretty, it's, it's looking really nice right now. This is looking like a Vogue getting ready with me right now. But um, yeah, so I'll normally do that. And then on, that's how I line the bottom. Then on the top, I normally do with like a Gillette. This is the, the single blade one. Really good for people who have sensitive skin like myself. Um, it's just two blades. So it's a sensitive skin version of Gillette, very classic. And then I just hit it with like the top. I just like line it up like this and then like pull back. Obviously with like shaving gel or cream, and I'll get into that in a second. But yeah, this is that's how like I line the top and then I line the bottom with the electric one, but very, very key for grooming. I definitely recommend this one if you guys have sensitive skin and then that's how I keep the lines all, all crisp. And then when I'm going into detail with other stuff, the final step for the, for the mustache is you gotta brush it through with a little comb and then you look on an angle. And then normally when I'm on an angle, you could kind of see it from a side, but like there's some hairs that stick out that makes it look kind of like, um messy so i'll just go against the grain normally and i'll just trim like that do the same here This is so invasive. That's another reason why I was scared to do this video is because it's like, it's so personal. And like, obviously, I don't know if y'all rock with me like that all the way. I know you guys care about, care about the clothes and my fashion sense and like lifestyle stuff, but I feel like this is an important part of just being the best version of yourself. Like that's why I enjoy clothes so much because it lets people feel like the best version of themselves. And I feel like upkeep and maintenance and just doing your daily skincare, your men's care, whatever you care about <laughs> is important as well. So like I try to do this like once or twice a week if I can, depends if like what events I have going on. 
Uh, my hair is also a mess right now. It's okay though. Keeping it very real today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I was saying before, obviously I wouldn't just like raw, raw dog the fucking the, the, the freaking top of the mustache while uh, with, the, with the Gillette shaver. So what I would use is this shaving serum. This is my Aesop. Really recommend this one. It's really cool because it's like still has that signature Aesop like also Aesop, Aesop. I don't know how people pronounce it correctly. So if you know how to pronounce it perfectly, definitely let me know in the content, comments below. But everyone around me calls it Aesop, so I'm gonna call it Aesop. But yeah, like I was saying before, I, lo I was using like Gillette foam like uh, shaving creams and gels or whatever, but it was never my favorite. It was like too foamy, a bit too like traditional. Uh, and then I found the, this one at the Aesop store. And since it's something that you rinse off very quickly, it's not like, it doesn't irritate my skin, uh, which is something that tends to happen sometimes with Aesop product. That's why I tend to frequent like the, the soaps, like the hand soaps and the hand cream because that's stuff that doesn't really irritate my hands. For the skincare, I tend to stick with the serums, the oils and like, things that you could remove off your face quickly. I'm trying out a cleanser right now, but I'll get into that when I show you guys the other steps in my get ready with me. But yeah, this is a great shaving cream or serum or whatever you want to call it. Definitely check it out. I recommend it. Um, I've been using it at, like for maybe a couple months now. I want to say like maybe six months, maybe even longer than that. But yeah, really good addition to the routine. So that's all I really do for the grooming part of things. Uh, the last step that I will say that's very worthy and like if you guys are black or people of color in general POC, I strongly, strongly recommend if you struggle with ingrown hairs, this is something that I've talked about in the vlogs before and I will reiterate it once again. If you struggle it, struggle with ingrown hairs or you get like any type, type of uh, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, I, which I still get, this has helped an insane amount laser hair removal okay it's a big commitment obviously like you'll probably never have a beard again <laughs> like a luscious beard at that but um you'll still be able to have somewhat clear skin and it just be the, the hair becomes so fragile that it's not rough and protruding from the skin the way it used to so i'll show you guys like I never really have to, like I, I never really have to shave too, too much. Like, and if it is there, the hair is so fine that you never really see it. And this is me, like I said, I'm recovering from a breakout. Like I have one ingrown hair here that happens. It, it just happens naturally. But like I said, it still can happen, but it's very rare for it to occur. Have another one here. Unlucky, but it happens, you know? So another thing that I do in my routine, I kind of just read my skin kind of this is something that you get used to once you've been in exploring with skincare for a bit you kind of just like read what your skin needs me i've been seeing like seeing like a lot of dark spots uh and i also need to like exfoliate but i'll probably do that on another day because i did that maybe a day or two ago so yeah i'll get into my whole breakdown of the routine right now so normally what i start with is the cleanser i'm going to show you guys a few of the cleansers that i use and options that you guys can look at so Get into that. So this at the base of everything, insane. Really good, just borderline, like you can't go wrong with these. This is CeraVe. You could find this at any drugstore, any convenient, like uh, like uh, in, if you're in Canada, Pharma Pre, if you're in the States, like Walgreens, CVS, whatever, like uh, Duane Reed, all, all that. So CeraVe, I tend to mix these two because you have to know what type of skin type you have as well. So I have combination skin. Uh, some people can have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, sensitive skin. There's like a whole bunch of different skin types. So I highly recommend you guys go to a dermatologist so that you can actually know what your skin needs if you're acne prone as well. There's a whole bunch of things. I went and saw a dermatologist twice now. I still haven't fully been able to get diagnosed with what the issues are with my skin, but because I've been so proactive with learning myself and educating myself on everything, I'm pretty sure of a couple of things. I know that I have eczema, I've had eczema since I was a kid, like on like the corners of uh, my arms and behind my knees and stuff like that. And as I've gotten older, it's like spread to other areas. So like now I'm getting it on my face randomly though. So it's kind of reactive. It's either if I'm consuming too much sugar or alcohol, or if I'm just, inflamed for some reason you know what i mean like spicy foods different things like that 
I notice my skin's very reactive, so I can have reactions to that. So this whole past week, I've been going out, I've been having a good time, so I'm paying for it. Like my skin was breaking out and, and doing a whole bunch of that. So that's what happened with that. So going back to combination skin, the reason why I combined the two is that this is hydrating. So when my skin is very dry, I tend to use this. And then this is like a foaming facial cleanser. It's normally for, for normal to oily skin. This one is for dry to normal skin. So putting these together, it's the perfect combo. I like that. Or you could just, depending on what your skin needs, you use either or. Okay, so now what I currently use is these two things. One I'm trying and one is like my favorite. I bought it, I wanna say three times over now. So like I'm a, I'm a firm advocate for this brand. So I'll talk about this one first because I, I just love it so much. This is the Kale Green Tea Spinach and Vitamin uh, Cleanser by Youth to the People. This, bro, I, I literally, anyone that tells me they're getting into skincare, this is what I recommend first of all. Like this changed the game for me. As soon as I got put onto this, I think I watched this guy Hiram's videos. He's like one of the main skincare men's creators out there. Amazing videos, very amazing content, very informative. I learned a lot through his channel. I'm gonna put a couple other skincare creators that I follow that I've gotten a lot of uh, information and education from. So you guys could go and do your own research if you're interested, but yeah, this one, super sick. Love everything about this. Just the consistency, the lathering, um, how fresh you feel, how little you have to use in order to like really get the product where you need it to. Um, it's just amazing. Like definitely recommend, take a screenshot. I'll have also links to everything in the description below. So hopefully that helps you out. So that is like my main like everyday cleanser. I normally use that at night and then the CeraVe uh, combination, I use that in the morning just cause it's in the shower. I'll, I'll wash my face in the shower. But also one that I've been testing in the morning just cause um, my friends, Sam and Angie were moving to Toronto and they didn't want to like pack some stuff that they had. So they just gave Meg and I some of their stuff, which is really kind of them. So I'm trying out this Aesop Amazing Face Cleanser. It's pretty good. It is very fragrance forward. So I was a bit hesitant at first so like I said before sensitive skin so anything with fragrance is kind of I try to steer clear of but now since I've been training my skin and getting it to a point where it kind of knows better like it's been conditioned more to like understand things and know what's good for it and what's not I've been slowly trying to see how this is for me and I wear it I, I use it like maybe twice a week just to like slowly get my my routine in but we'll see we'll have to see how this turns out but so far i enjoy it the consistency consistency is nice and the smell is pretty great too so that's all the cleansers okay so quickly i'm gonna go through all like my serums and like treatments I, i'll call this like this is in a step by step routine cleanser would be first your serum and whatever type of like second layer would be Second, third, any type of moisturizer um, would be the third step. And then lastly, sunscreen. So yeah, that's exactly what I recommend. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. This, if you have acne, amazing. This is Differin Gel. It's basically called the Dapoline. You could do your own research on this. Um, really great for acne. If I've ever had breakouts on my nose, if you guys seen the way my skin was before, um, I really started to understand it and like train my skin, you guys would, be shocked i'll put on a photo on the screen shocking i know <laughs> but um the more that like when i got the facial hair removal and then also just started learning my, about the acne and stuff that was a very big help so next up same thing when i have like textured skin this is a very big help as well this is paula's choice uh azelaic acid so anything to do with like texture or if i feel like my skin is not smooth and there's a different texture going on definitely use this this is like one of my favorites it's acts kind of like a chemical exfoliant just really great product definitely check it out if you have textured skin textured skin helps out a lot Okay, now these are obviously very popular when like skincare blew up in COVID and like during the pandemic and everything like that. Uh, the like the ordinary was the brand to go through because to go to because it's like no frills, it's just straight to the point. Uh, raw active ingredients and the hyaluronic acid is definitely something I like to use a lot. This is good if you want to lock in your moisture barrier. Uh, it kind of just like keeps all the water retained in your face in a, in a sense, so like, it really keeps you like plump. Definitely recommend that. This next one, niacinamide. Uh, this is good for dark spots. 
but I feel like I gravitate towards another product now for dark spots because it just works a lot better. There's only just one downside to it, but I'll get to that in a second. So these next two products is what I use for dark, dark spots now. If, I, if it's at night and I'm willing to brave the smell because I find that the smell a little bit too intense for me, but a lot of other people don't mind it at all. This is faded by Topicals, very great brand. Amazing that there's like black businesses thriving within skincare as well. I believe like this is like the number one selling brand at Sephora for 2022, which is amazing. Crazy that guys know <laughs> things like that now. Um, but yeah, faded. If you guys have dark spots, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, any any black people that are going through that struggle, this is a like a game changer. Like if you use this religiously for a couple of months, you're definitely gonna see some changes. Just use use it at night and make sure you use sunscreen and you're you're goaded for sure. Um, other one that I will use like more in the day. Uh, this is a facial radiance niacinamide dark dark spot serum. This is by First Aid Beauty, which is a great another great uh, brand for skincare. I'm j I just just started trying this. It's good. I still feel like I need more time to give a full review on it, but also a good product for dark spots because I actually did notice a difference. So actually this is the first time I ever got seeded anything for skincare so I, I feel like I'm getting more and more into this world. This is by Youth of the People. This is just an eye, like an eye cream. I feel like I always thought eye creams were a hoax but they actually do something. Like I really do vouch for them. If you're feeling like dead if you had a really long night or something you put this under your eye in the morning and you just feel like feel like you have coffee on your face it's kind of strange but yeah it has peptides vitamin c uh like uh depuffing smoothening a bunch of stuff really good for the under eye and it's like one of the most delicate tissues of skin is under the eye so definitely make sure you protect that and this one i've been using to kind of replace this one um but it's not all the way there so i think i'm just gonna stick to this one from now on but yeah this is by this is by glow recipe this is their avocado serum and like their recovery serum really nice as you guys see there's a lot of products here i don't use everything every single day it just depends on what my skin needs this is if my skin is very broken out or just needs life back into it needs to get start repairing or my moisture barrier needs some recovery i'll go for this i've been using it to try and replace this because this is only available in the states but unfortunately it's just not the same this one is the bread and butter though the great barrier relief this is by crave if you guys live in the states definitely get you some of this it's perfect it kind of acts between a serum and a moisturizer so if you're interested in that type of consistency and you need that barrier relief then definitely do that <laughs> i just re-upped on this actually this is the glow recipe nice said my dew drops if you're trying to look glowy and like you're trying to go to like an event or something you're trying to have that that very shiny like um main character energy skin that's this is what you go for this is amazing i love this it's very feminine it smells like kind of girly because it's uh like watermelon based but very very good if you're trying to have that dewy glowy hollywood type of look like red carpet vibe this is you definitely try that out and then if you're more intense like acne prone i personally don't use this because it's a little too intense for me when i got prescribed it but this is tretinoin and it's mixed with another one that i cannot pronounce but if you have time to go and ask your dermatologist if you have acne prone skin definitely ask them about tretinoin it's a very intense retinol but yeah try it out if you have it and the only retinol that I actually have for myself, I rarely use because I find retinol is pretty intense for my skin type. I don't know why, because I just tend to purge a little too much. Uh, this is the retinol by Skin Medica, which is a bit pricey, obviously. It's like more of a, a luxury uh, skincare product. They sell it more at like dermatologist's office and like um, beauty bars and stuff like that. But yeah. This is a good product if you're trying to get into retinols and you don't want to fully commit to like a higher percentage because this is 0.25, very much worth it. I like it, definitely worth a try if you're interested. And the last one, this is something that I figured that, that I found out that I have. Basically, this helps with like eczema and dermatitis, but on the face helps extremely. Uh, Skin Fix is a beauty of a brand, does a great job. And that's exactly what I have on my face. Like I'll get little patches of eczema randomly, like even like under my mustache sometimes in my, in my eyebrows. It's like, it's strange, but um, this helps a ton. 
I just like lather it, kind of gets like a sealing situation going on and it, it helps a ton. Okay, now I forgot actually within that steps, like before serums, if you're on in the week, you try to, I, I strongly recommend that you try and like chemical exfoliate at least like twice in a week. Uh, depends on how your skin is. If you could tolerate more, you could do more. But uh, these are the two that I normally use. One's a bit more intense than the other. And like, I find I could use this in a day. I find I only use this at night, uh, but both you should probably try and use more at night because it's intense on your skin you should probably wear a lot of sunscreen but this one paula's choice everyone knows about this this is kind of like a fan fave everyone loves this product it's the two percent bha liquid exfoliant definitely give this a go um kind of just like gets rid of all like the muck on your face and like uh allows more uh of your skin your skin cells to like regenerate type of thing. So I know that was in proper wording, but this one too, this is another one, but like I said, a bit more intense. Uh, the Killaloo AHA, Killalooya. Yeah, also by Crave Beauty, so only available in the States. So I have to get this on Amazon and give someone my money um, because it's not available in Canada, unfortunately. But those two chemical exfoliants, I definitely stand by. Just get like a little cotton pad, put it on your face, or you could just put it straight in your hand and just like, and you're all good and yeah uh, my two moisturizers that i use one i use more in the day when i use more at night is my daytime one it looks all janky because i just like it goes through hell <laughs> i use this often this is the ultra repair cream by first aid beauty really good brand sorry i always blank because like between youth to the people and first aid beauty i always confuse the two brands i don't know why i do that but it's it's horrible <laughs> But yeah, great brand, great consistency. It's a little rich for some people, like a bit too tick, but um, I, I really enjoy it. It's one of the first moisturizers that I gravitated towards and I've been, I think it's the second or third time that I've repurchased this, so really great product. Uh, and a new fave that I found, this is my first time ever buying it, but like I'll always keep on buying this now, is the SkinCeuticals uh, Daily Moisturizer. It's just the perfect consistency. Everything that I enjoy out of a moisturizer is exactly what this is. So I've been almost like using this even more than the other First Aid Beauty one. But yeah, incredible product, a bit more expensive and you don't get too much in it, but it is more rich. So like you could kind of use it for, it, like a little goes a long way type of thing. But yeah, great product, definitely recommend that. And the last product that I recommend is the this, <laughs> which is so funny there's no branding anymore and the name of it is called the unseen sunscreen by um super Goop. um all of the branding just rubbed off unfortunately but this is available at sephora and a bunch of other places but yeah super Goop unseen sunscreen if you're black once again it's this thing that you could get on your face when you wear sunscreen sunscreen it's called the white cast and it shows like white marks on your face but this is like goaded because there's there's none of that uh definitely recommend this for black people or any people with like darker skin and which goes to another thing black people bro, my 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 people okay still wear sunscreen just because you're black doesn't mean that you don't wear sunscreen okay you yes black don't crack but if we want to keep this going for a long time you use this okay and there's still a thing called skin cancer all right so wear your damn sunscreen don't i don't have to tell you to reapply it every couple of hours because that's just intense but at least put it on in the morning and then if you're popping out at night even if it's gray outside if it's dark out like there's still there's still light there's still sun wear the damn sunscreen okay it's important <laughs> all right so now that i showed you guys all the products that i use we're actually gonna do the little get ready with me situation now we just got back from the gym like i said and we gotta get ready for this this concert real quick with ASAP Ferg and Lil Tyler. We'll pull up to that, see how it's going. Got our little bracelets. Shout out to Acacia. Gave us a little VIP industry bracelet. So we're gonna, we're gonna tap in, see what's going on with that. But yeah, first step, you gotta gotta wash the face. So we're gonna go in with the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Cleanser. Gonna get to scrubbing right now. This. Rinse that off. Kind of hard to wash your face when uh, you guys are right here. <laughs> Normally I'd have like my face over the water or something, but that's how you cleanse that real quick. Boom, boom. And then now that we got that all cleansed, we're gonna go in with 
the niacinamide first aid beauty drops because your boy got some some dark spots you got this guy right here i always get an ingrown hair here i have no idea why and then also here um they decided to do a double threat today so we're gonna go in use that boom 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 and they distribute everywhere my main problem area was always my nose and my chin chin mainly because it's like the most coarse hair that i have on my face and then nose just because i think i have like just like a weird yeast buildup and like partial acne um that happens on my nose so it gets really like inflamed and, and stuff like that so hopefully this niacinamide will help with the dark spots and then i'm gonna go in with this water glow recipe drops this is the first bottle that i have so i have to i'm kind of kind of going savage mode with it i'm using the rest of it as much as i can because this bottle doesn't really pump out everything that you you can actually get out of it so i'm really struggling here so i get every every little bit i can i actually think this is probably the end of it though yeah this is done this is done so you guys can see that kind of just provides like a nice glowy sheen to everything super sick love that so now we have that nice dewy skin very nice moisturizer it's this skin circles moisturizer right here with this boop, 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 boop on the neck and then put that all in there then now the face is all moisturized perfect now we could get our sunscreen even though it's nighttime gotta do the sunscreen it's part of the routine man you gotta do it all over yeah that's good and then now this is kind of like my secret uh glowy situation this concoction that i make okay so i'm gonna grab all of the serums that i use these are actually products that i didn't show you at the beginning of the video but i'll just show you the little like melange that i make so I go in with the Youth of the People Super Berry Hydrating Glow Dream Oil. This, when I'm trying to do that really like glowy, dewy type of look, this is like amazing. So good. So I use that as the base. I probably kind of do like two drops of that. Then I hit it with the Parsley Seed, Parsley Seed Serum by Aesop. This is also really good. Um, just a bit fragrance focused. So I do one drop of that. And then also another cool oil the fabulous face oil by Aesop, also a great option. I kind of just mix all three of those together in the palm of my hand and then uh, kind of go from there. I'll, I'll try my best to show this on camera. I'm gonna untwist all of them like this, untwist every single one. And then that way I'm able to just take the dropper out and put it straight into the hand. I'll show you guys that. Dropper, I do one, two, yeah. Hope you guys saw that. So that was like two or three drops. Then we hit it with this. We'll just do two also. <laughs> just cause I wanna actually get the shot for you guys. This is a little bit more than I normally use, but there we go. One drop of that. And then we kinda just sandwich it together. And then we apply like this. So this is nice because Aesop stuff, they, it is fragrance forward, but it's more like essential oils and stuff. So the smell is kind of like another additional fragrance that you could use. So really great for just like that projection, good smells, good vibes. And then the last step I'm gonna use, well, last of two steps. I'm gonna do, actually I think there's three <laughs> steps left. It's a long routine, I know. A long ass routine. I do the under eyes. I didn't even tell you guys the product, how silly of me. This is the Youth of the People Eye Serum. I talked about this before. Vitamin C, got a whole bunch of it going on. This is the first thing I ever got sent to me um, as a skincare product, which is really sick because it's a company I actually mess with. And then do the top lid. And then your eyes are rejuvenated. And the last two steps, this is just like an extra, like just because I'm crazy. My breakout areas, I'm having two right now. I'm having a little bit of eczema right here. So I'm gonna go in right here, cover that up, make sure that 
the moisture barrier is getting replenished. And then on my neck, I noticed a little bit of eczema as well. So I'm going in with this Skin Fix uh, Eczema Dermatitis Face Balm ointment of sorts. Put that on the neck. But I think my eyes and everything are good. I'm just gonna put the remainder of whatever's left on my fingers because my mustache and my eyebrows have been pretty good recently, healing back to normal. But yeah, that's just one of the last steps. And then before you go out, you gotta do, this is my favorite lip. This is my favorite lip balm, just Aquaphor. Very simple to the point. Hit it like that on the lips. Then you're done, bro. That's it, that's the whole routine. Very lengthy, I know. You guys are probably like, this is insane. You're like moving like a, like a shorty right now, but this skin looking magnificent, man. Like, come on, like, what, are we, what are we talking about right now? What is, what is we talking about? Come on, this is this is what this is what the people want. This took a long time to get here. We're here, baby. Like it took took it took a long time, but we're here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that get ready with me slash routine. This is more skincare and like grooming oriented, not like cold getting dressed and all that. Cause that would be a long ass video. I don't want to do that type of video. But if you guys would like that type of get ready with me, I think I do those more like on shorts, reels, TikTok, that type of vibe. So if you want to see that type of content, make sure you go follow me on there. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of content. I'll definitely try to do more of it if you guys are interested, but obviously this is more fashion forward this channel, but I think this is an important part of just getting getting flat. Getting flat, you gotta make sure that everything's flat. Skin, fragrance, lifestyle, fashion, eats, whole nine yards. You gotta do it. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. I really appreciate you guys stopping by the video once again. Uh, make sure to like, cause it's really, really valuable. Cause I don't know how this video is gonna perform. So definitely like, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys are into skincare or you're not, what, what, what are you guys thinking? So I'm gonna be out of here. See you guys on the next one. Peace.